spring cleaning. And I'll have to dust up there and under here. Up and under. Up and under. Under the umbrella. Underground. Undone. What else can you see that starts with the same sound? really did need cleaning. Which reminds me, dogs need cleaning too, especially these dogs. Come on. Come on in, walkies. So how many dogs have you got, Paul? Eight. Eight dogs? There's just five here? Yeah. What's happened to the others? Uh, the other three are indoors. Oh, right. <laughs> what are all their names and how do you remember them? We've got Honey, who's trailing behind you. Oh, Honey. Honey's yeah. honey coloured. That's yeah. easy. Flora. Flora. It's a white one. Yeah. Holly. Oh, Holly looks a bit older than the others. She's ten that. and a half. Then we've got Dylan, the one on my left. Right. And Willow on the right. They look a bit smaller. Are they yeah. younger? Yeah, these are 16 months old. Oh, I see. It takes a few, few more months before they get a long coat like that. <laughs> Come on, let's go this way. Honey, honey come on. Come on. Good girl. Hello, Here she is. A big muddy canal. Just what the dogs like best. And even though it's raining, they'll go in. Oh, yeah, they love this. Oh. Willow, look. What a time to drink. Well, I hope not. <laughs> Good girl, Willow. Good girl. Poor oh, Willow. Hey, I'll Willow. Come down. coat tends to float on the water until it gets really drenched. Yes. It's the floor of floating on the water. Oh, I see, yeah. <laughs> oh, poor old Holly. She's been a bit left out. Gonna come and have you, give you a stroke. Oh, I'll take my gloves off, because then I can feel this amazing hair. Holly. It is the most girl. wonderful hair, this. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, not Very so. unusual. Yeah. There's only three breeds that have actually got this type of hair in the world. And what breed is Holly? Um, Holly is a Hungarian Poolie. Hungarian Poolie. And it actually grows like that, doesn't yeah. it, in these sort of uh, dreadlocks? Yeah, that's all natural. Amazing. Well, they must get very dirty with all this hair. Yeah, and very smelly, especially smelly. once they've been in the water. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do then? Oh, pop them off home and then give them a nice long bath. A bath? That's the hard part. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Paul, how long does it take to wash a poolie? Well, hopefully we'll be able to bath honey in half an hour. <gasps> half an hour? Yeah, that's a quick bath. It's longer than me. <laughs> so, um, what can I do to help you? Well, first things first. Come on, honey, sit. Down. Good girl. Down. She's getting a nice soak in there. Good girl. There, lots of water all over you, honey. On your chest. These ends of the ears. And now how do we actually do the washing bit? Basically, massage gently, small bits at a time. Right, oh, small bits. Yeah. Okay. Get some more water on there. Well, this feels really nice. It's just like doing my washing. Good girl. A bit there. There. I think she's almost ready for rinsing. Great. Bit of muck in the eyes. <laughs> Do you like a good rinse now, honey? So what happens now then? Uh, got to drain this dirty water out the bath, mm -hmm. and then the rinse in. That's actually that's the hardest part. All right, I'll do the shower. Nice head. Feel that just right. Is that okay, madam? <laughs> She says, oh, I love you, thank you. Right, if I do so this I'll, here first, okay. then you just massage from 
Put the base at a quarter, yeah, to the end. Right. Give it a nice good squeeze. Oh, yeah. It comes out quite easily. We just keep doing this until you see the water running clear. <sighs> oh, well, at least we're nearly finished for the day. Well, not quite. There's four more outside waiting to be done. Oh. I forgot them out there. Well, we can do two each. <laughs> well, of course, bathing a dog can be great fun. Oh. And sometimes you get more wet than the dog itself. And in fact, our story this time is about a boy called Andrew who hated baths. Andrew was forever having trouble with his bath. Either it was too hot. Too hot! I'm boiling! Or too cold. Too cold! I'm freezing! Too shallow. More water! My boat won't float! Or too deep. Too deep! I'll drown! His mother scrubbed him too hard. Or oh, too rough! Or his father used too much shampoo. Too much! I can't see! Giving Andrew a bath wasn't easy. One day, Andrew's mother said, I think Andrew is big enough to give himself a bath. I think you're right said Andrew's father. That night, Andrew went upstairs to give himself his very own bath. First, he filled the tub. The water was not too hot, not too cold, not too shallow, and not too deep. He collected all his favourite toys and books He took off all his clothes and climbed into the bath. Downstairs, Andrew's mother thought she could hear water splashing on the floor. What's going on up there? she asked. There's a frog in the bath, answered Andrew. And it's splashing water all over the floor. Well, tell it to stop, said Andrew's mother. A little later, Andrew's father called to Andrew. Are you washing? I can't, said Andrew. There's a hippo in the bath and it's sitting on the soap. Tell the hippo to get up, said Andrew's father and scrub behind your ears with your flannel. I can't, said Andrew. An alligator bit it and he won't let go. Then take it away from him, said Andrew's father. I did, said Andrew. But now it's all ripped and full of tooth holes. Never mind, said Andrew's mother, looking at Andrew's father. Just wash your hair. I can't, said Andrew. The elephant drank all the shampoo. That's enough, Andrew's father shouted. Let the water out of the bath this instant. I'm trying, said Andrew. But there's a thirsty lion in here and he won't let me. Andrew, called his mother. Get out of the bath and dry off right now. <laughs> cried Andrew. Andrew hurried downstairs to say good night. Can the animals sleep with me tonight? he asked.
Andrew's mother and father just looked at each other. Only if they are quiet, they said. Oh, they will be, cried Andrew. And he hurried off to bed. <laughs> Bathing, dusting, tidying up. Oh, this belongs over here. Here's another umbrella. Umbrella. <laughs> Upside down. Unusual umbrella. Ugly umbrella. Ugly umbrella. Both these words start with the same letter. Watch how Magic Pencil writes it. Down, round, up and down and flick. 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 Cleaning, washing, dusting. These are the things I do on a Monday. Up with the bright sun, get all the work done. With the duster, don't have siesta, brush all the dirt away. These are the things I do on a Tuesday. Up with the bright sun, get all the work done. Today is washing, splashing and sloshing. Scrub all the food away. These are the things I do on a Wednesday. Up with the bright sun. Bright sun. 